Hey, what is up, viewers? My name is SDSK, and welcome to The Wolf Among Us, Episode 4, In Sheep's Clothing. Thank you guys for the awesome support on Episode 3. I'm really glad you guys enjoyed it. And without further ado, let's just jump straight into In Sheep's Clothing. I'm pretty excited for this. Uh, this series just seems to get better and better as it goes, and you guys seem to support it more and more as it goes, so thank you guys for that. It's as simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Crane must have taken a shard with him. The open arms. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. Bigby? How could you do this to me? I guess I finally see you for who you are! Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? Take him, okay? Take Crane. Well, this is going to be a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. Out with the old, in with the new. Long live the queen. And there we go. That was what happened last episode, uh, episode 3. If you guys missed out on any of the ep previous episodes, uh, I'll leave a link down in the description below for the series playlist. So if we were to check it out, and I think we're kind of recovering, are we? had our arm broken, we got shot with a silver bullet, the only thing that could really kill is a werewolf, or whatever you want to call me, the big bad wolf. What is... What, what is happening? See you around. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Okay, I'm not that recovered. Business. I was gonna say. Slug deformed and shredded on impact. Bigby's apartment, in the Woodland Building, early He'll be morning. Okay, though. <clears throat> He'll be okay. His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Easy there. Try not to move. This doctor has been in both episodes, or the beginning of this episode and episode three. Oh. We can't keep meeting this way, old boy. Yeah. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious, but there's little I can do for the pain. What? <coughs> what I already know what happened, but you know, just there was you got lucky and found yourself in the care of a most skillful surgeon. Setting Me. up the mood. Please, Bigby, oh. don't move it, Doctor. God. Look, I'm a bit engaged, saving his life at the moment. But if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. Okay, uh, I should probably I'll probably put a message at the beginning of this just in case. But if you guys are a little na nauseous, Have nauseous, you're easy. Oh, God. Oh, okay. I didn't. Yeah, that wasn't so difficult. I didn't even have to really do anything. But if you guys are a little nauseous or easy to not good with blood, there we go. That, that's what I meant to say. I wouldn't recommend watching the first part of this episode. I can't speak today. Good, good. He keeps going like this. Perfect. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Well, he should. There are limits to what even I can do. <laughs> it's not like I asked for this shit to happen. Yes, but it's not like you actively discouraged it either. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss White, but... Perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay, at least until he's out of the woods. Believe me, big oh, that's a good pun. Your hands, and I need the space to work, so I'd uh, I prefer you don't watch this anyway. We'll be done in a moment. Just please give us the time. There's the pig. Hey, Doc. How Friggin much love long? The pig. Colin. Leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, 
You're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. Could you please not distract the doctor while he has my chest cut open? Yes, that would be helpful. <sighs> there. All done. I swear every single bullet Great. piece looked exactly the same. This isn't a habit you should keep to. Having visits with me. And, well, this time... Wow. This time was no joke. That is a because lot of bandage. As you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. <clears throat> Miss White. You'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. Well, thank you, Doctor. It it's just been an unusual couple of days. I know. But Indeed it has. Don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him. Please. I will. He'll need rest, I assume? Sleep mostly. Just keep watch. And make sure he doesn't get into further altercations. Snow has enough to deal with, Swineheart. I can take care of myself. Clearly. Anyways, guard against, as they say. I, I wish there was an Swine. option that says Earth? someone like, Colin. I'm not Swine. used to, to lose or something like that. Which, uh, of course, is what uh, Snow said earlier in the series. I think episode... Episode 2, maybe? I think episode 2 is when she said that to me. So I feel like that would be a, a good thing to say back. So... How do you, um, feel? Oh, I, I feel dandy. Um, it's I feel like I'm... Be, Snow. I can it's run a couple okay. miles, you know? Hell, I've seen him take worse. Not much worse. Don't worry about me, all right? I'll be fine. See? Strong as an oak, this guy. <laughs> Thanks, I'm Colin. I'm glad you're not dead. I really feel the emotion in your voice. You, uh... You stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or, or died, I guess. It, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. I've never seen you like that. And when Swineheart arrived, you know him, he's never worried. I don't die easy. Even he thought you were... Snow, I'd never leave you. Mm hmm? Was that the right thing, thing yeah, to say? Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. Colin... Oh, I'm just saying, I was worried about him is all. But the guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the Crooked Man taking over? Or is Crane still the thing? The Crooked Man, Bloody Mary, the Tweedles. This is bigger than what I thought it was. Yeah. The Crooked Man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. See, I wonder well, if the Crooked Man is a fable character, or I'm maybe he's desperate. just like a new... What do you mean? You're newly created crane. character. I'm guessing Save he's a fable baby. character. I'm just, saying, just the flow of exactly everything in this series so far. With house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder... It was a split-second decision, and I don't care how it looked. Yeah, uh, Thanks, Snow. For all that back there. No problem. Thanks? You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? Oh, that the crooked man thinks no, we'll he's get got him back. snow under his thumb. We're all mad about it, Colin. What else could Snow do? If she didn't hand him over, my ass would be down the witching well. Crane still would have been taken. Okay, okay, I'll take your word for it. All I care about right now is... Just what does the crooked man want out of this? I thought he was just a loan shark. But clearly, he's operating in other circles. Yeah, he's like an entire crane, right? army, no doubt. Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? You know, I couldn't really give a shit what they want out of this. They just made the wrong fucking enemy. 
Remember what Swineheart that said. That was a, okay. such a manly thing to say, and then, and then I get hurt as the soon as I say it. Declared war <sighs> against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. I don't think what there is a right way. the right way. What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Bigby's the one on the front lines. You can't give him a leash. He doesn't work that way. I can only do things the way I do them. And where has that left us so far? Excuse me, but it's left us with a name. Maybe the name, the Crooked Man. That's not good enough. Oh, then I'm not good enough so, for, for you, Snow. starting now, now Ooh. we do everything cut and dried, by the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of... Sure you're not. <laughs> this town has oh, I enough love Colin. monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need monsters. I turn into myself. Monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice... We were under attack, Snow. What did you expect me to do? There are degrees. degrees. Yes, degrees that have I me getting shot like eight necessary. times by the Tweedledee and really? Dumb brothers. Well, if that's the case, please <clears throat> explain to Colin why tearing Dumb's throat out was necessary. You can't let up until the fight is finished. He was... he was still a threat, and that's all there is to it. Sure. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. Well, at least someone understands. Thanks, Colin. He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that... Now that I'm Deputy Mayor, I need your respect. And wow. this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the oh, farm. Oh, give me a fucking break! Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. And Bigby knows it's for the best of the town. It keeps everybody out of trouble. And what if a Mundy does see me, huh? Look, everyone just calm down, all right? I'm perfectly calm. I'm not. Tell me right now, what's it gonna be, Bigby? I think it's the phone. That's, that's what it's gonna be. Wolf's oh. residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? <laughs> okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Bluebeard. Nerissa. Oh, okay, never mind. Blood from the pudding and pie? I was just... Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you <clears> about. <throat> but that she'll only tell you. And what do you think that could be? Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. She knows <laughs> something. She's helped me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Consider the discussion table... Oh, you're looking good, over. Snow. I'll keep him on. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. She's a piece of... Alright guys, thank you guys for watching this first episode of episode 4 of The Wolf Among Us. This is always a confusing series to title, but thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, be sure to hit that like or button below. Subscribe if you guys are new for more awesome videos. My name is SDSK, and I will see you guys on the flip side.